why use tables? Tables allow you to quickly and easily align columns of data in a word processing document. They set off information in a nice, easy to read format. You can even perform some simple calculations. And by working with the cell structure of a table, you can create forms quickly and extremely inexpensively. Here's an example of just a simple table. Nothing very fancy, but extremely quick to produce, faster really than using tabs, as you'll see. Here's an example of a business letter. You can see that formatting the data in the middle of the letter with a table has made it really easy to format in a fairly complex way and makes the data stand out really well. Here's an example of using table formatting to create a form. The cells are formatted in such a way that the underlying table is no longer really noticed by the user. All they see is filling in the form and the work being done for them. To insert a table, there's a number of different things you can do. Obviously, the insert menu and choose table. And as you can see here, there's also a keyboard shortcut, control F12. That brings the insert table dialog box up. To show you another way, really quick, just click on the insert table button on the standard toolbar. Finally, you can click the drop down arrow next to the insert table and drag to select the shape of the table you want. In a word processing table, the table is a grid of columns and rows. The column is the vertical component, the row, the horizontal component, and the cell is the intersection of the column and the row. Cells are not labeled in writer tables, but they do in fact have labels. If we watch, as I click in this top cell of the table, see down here in the status bar, you see that we are in table one in cell A1. If I click here in this cell, now the status bar says we're in table one, C3. Even though they're not labeled as such, column A, column B, column C, column D, row one, row two, row three, and row four. As you can see, when this heavy arrow appears, you can select the entire row or the entire column. Moving between table cells is generally done using the tab or the arrow key. If I press tab now, you see that the cursor moves from cell to cell. If I press shift tab, the cursor moves back. I can also use the left and right arrow keys and the up and down arrow keys. If you press the enter key to move to the next cell, all you'll get is another blank line within the cell. Let me turn on the non-printing characters so you can see. So enter does not work. Tab, shift tab, or the arrow keys, or of course, the mouse to move between table cells.